So we have to go fight the raiders. Well, we probably don't have to. We probably just leave her to die, but Bernard is kind. Bernardo is a bit of a nice guy. Let's go talk to the raiders. We're not really a chatty guy. What? Go away. Oh. What? Go away. I'm looking for a woman named Tandy. Seen her? No, I ain't seen her. Why are you asking? Just looking for a friend of mine. Ah, oh, okay. What do you want? I'm looking for a woman named Tandy. There's a bounty on her head. If I can kill her, I can get some good cash. I'm not gonna lie to these people. Bernardo just isn't that smart. Hello? Well, there she is. I used my x-ray vision. You see a bruised and battered woman. Sobs uncontrollably. Jesus. You see Gwen, a desert bandit. I'm Gwen. I'm one of Garl's advisors. Who are you? I'm Bernard Oge. What do you do around here? As an advisor, I make sure that no lowlife's causing any trouble for Garl. And how do you do that? I have ways to make certain undesirables are no longer here. I can see that I was wrong. You probably could do your job well. Goodbye. Can I go through this door? Yep. This door is locked. Oh, Hello. It's you again. Are you gonna get me out? Um, yes. So just well, sit tight, I'll get you out. What's your plan? <laughs> I find. I'm going to fight the con leader in exchange for your freedom. You? <laughs> fight him? You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Listen, if you come up with another plan, let me know, okay? Well, fuck you too, Tandy. Fuck you too. What do you want? I'm looking for a woman named Tandy. Okay. Well, let's save it, because there's a good chance we're going to get brutally murdered by a street gang. Hello there. I've come in peace to negotiate the release of Tandy. Hmm, well then, what do you offer for release? I'll fight you one-on-one -on -one for Tandy. Fine, we shall settle this with no weapons. Knock me out and I'll let you take the woman and leave. I knock you out, you leave without her. Perfect. You were hitting the groin for five hit points. You're an asshole. The joke's on you, though, because I do bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage. 49%. Oh, God. Just kick him right in the throat. I need three action points. We're in trouble here. Hit critically for six. How many hit points do you have, girl? Rawr! Holy shit. You were hit critically hit for 13 points. Really, dude? You were critically hit for five. Wow. The bruise will look nice and maybe the scars will make good party talk. You're a fucking asshole. No damage. Really? He had a gun. I didn't think he was going to be this good in a fight. Garl was hit for no damage. Wow. So we're fucked. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. He said he was just going to knock me out. What is this? Maybe we can trade for her. It must be valuable indeed. Show me. What is Tandy worth? $652. Um, we found that submachine gun. Oh, geez. Got a bottle of booze there? An ancient liquor from the pre-war era. Well, I'm not giving you the gun. That's worth like twice as much as her. Also, that poor girl's barely worth one gun. 
What about the grenades I found? Close. Closer. A little closer. A little closer. Take one spear. And then, uh, what? Thirty-eight caps? Perfect. Oh, that's a good trade. Let's get out of here. We need to put some points in on arm damage, apparently. Well, now we know that raiders are liars. He said he was just gonna fucking knock me out. What an asshole. You gain 400 experience points for returning Tandy and 500 experience points for freeing Tandy. I've gone up a level. Let's put it in unarmed. You never know when that'll come up again. Our entire town is grateful to you for destroying the rat scorpions. He's already forgotten about Tandy, apparently. Hi. I was afraid that you were gone and I wasn't going to get a chance to thank you for rescuing me. Oh, that was great! Action! Adventure! Anyway, if there's anything that I can do for you, you just ask. You can proposition this young lady. I don't think even she would be on board with that, even though I saved her life, because I still smell. I smell awful. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. Have so you heard any you stories? Need? Shut up. Have you heard any stories from down south? Just stuff. No problem. Oh, see you later. Goodbye. Yep. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye, Tandy. Goodbye forever. Let's go see our friend Airdash. I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your reward. Ooh, reward. Until we meet again, my friend. May the water you find in the desert not shine at you in the dark. I guess he means radioactive water. What did you give me? Nothing. Thank you so much. Here is my reward. Wow. Well, we're off to junk town. We've got no leads, because Vault 15 didn't have our water chip. Next stop, Junk Town. Where is it? Holy shit, that's a long walk. What is that? That looks like a thing. Desert? Just empty desert. It looked like a town. Why can't I go anywhere? There you go. Looked like there was something there. Apparently not. Off to Junk Town. What's that? Maybe the hub? Greetings from Junk Town. Hello? Welcome to Junk Town. What can I do for you? What are you doing here? What is this place? What does it look like? I'm a guard and I'm keeping an eye out for strangers like you, and this place is called Junk Town. Hey, don't laugh. I happen to like the name myself. We mostly do tradings. Sometimes we trade with those stuck up bastards from Hub. Hey, you're not from the Hub, are you? Me? No, I'm not from the Hub. Okay. It's not our place to ask questions. Have a good day and don't make any trouble. Thank you. Come through your wacky entrance here. Hello. Can you give me the big picture on Junk Town? Me and my men here work for Killing in Darkwater. We keep some order in this town, dealing with all of the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags who come in from the desert. If you want my advice, you'll also stay away from Gizmo. That fathead runs a crooked operation, but we just haven't been able to prove anything. 
He and his lackeys, the Skulls, are going to take the fall sometime soon if Killian has anything to say about it. So what keeps you law boys from just busting Gizmo and the Skulls? Got to do it all proper-like. We know that Gizmo runs a rigged operation and all, but we need hard evidence to bring him down. Same with the Skulls. They rough someone up, we bring one or two of them in, but nothing changes. We just don't have any direct evidence tying any of them to the killings or muggings. Well, good luck. Thanks, watch your back. What's this place? Hello? Watch out for Gizmo and his cronies. Junktown guard? This is Junktown. Nice place to live as long as you stay on our good side. Whoa. Hello? This is Junktown. This is your jail? Can I help you? Who are you? I'm Andrew. My guard, my job is to guard the jail. What are you doing? I'm guarding the jail. Make sure that miscreants don't get in or out. Why would you keep people from getting in the jail? Someone might leave something to help a prisoner escape, or someone might get locked inside and stuck until we could get the keys. Oh. That's a pretty good explanation. Who are you? You see Junktown Peasant. What are you doing here? Just fucking exploring, dude. Just fucking exploring. Hello? You see Junktown Citizen? It's late. Come back some other time. What time is it? It's 7 in the morning. Wait for two hours. Now see if he wants to talk. Hi. Good work, fella. Ooh. This is the doctor that taught Laszlo. How's it going? Good, and you? The cougar is always fine? I gotta know. You need to talk to my man Flash here. He can help you out. Hello? Watch yourself around the dock and I won't have to get medieval on your face. What? Hello? Doc Morbid. I'm Doc Morbid. Can I help you? I need some medical assistant. Let's have a look. You seem to be in nearly perfect health. That'll be $10 for the examination. Oh, 10 caps. Here you go. I got tricked. Nothing, just making small talk. Do you have supplies? What is this? A tool? A super tool set containing various useful tools. You never know. Take my gun for it. That's a good trade. Thank you. Goodbye. I thought he'd want to make small talk about Laszlo, but fuck him. That's where we came in. What's over here? Why well, won't let me look inside this building? I guess we have to go to the next map. Okay. There's a general store. We can buy some shit. Junktown Peasant? I'm busy. Leave me alone. He's just jacking off in there. It's probably the number one hobby in the wasteland. Dark Waters. Watch it for Gizmo. I will. I will. Hello there. Can I help you? It's MacGyver. Who are you? Well, it's a stupid question. It's MacGyver. Can you tell me more about this town? Well, Junktown's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Problems? From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Do you own this store? You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. Okay. Hello? Gizmo sends his regards. Killian was critically hit for 19 hit points. Holy shit. I gotta buy stuff from him, dude.
His name is Kenji? Got him. You gain 400 experience points for helping Killian and fight the assassin. Perfect. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Uh, what do you need me for? Now, if I get proof, the people at Junktown will kick him out. The way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? Oh, sounds kind of dangerous. I'm not going to lie to you. It will be dangerous. But I'll owe you one. And Killian Darkwater always pays his debts. What do you mean pays his debts? I'll tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Oh, deal. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. Let's see what this rascal's got on him. He has a hunting rifle. That'll bring in some money. So we've got some business with this gizmo fella. Gizmo gear loose. Hello? What are you doing here? I'm fucking trying to catch Gizmo, dude. Jesus. I'm busy. Leave me alone. Fine. I like my boss. Okay, good talk. What is this? The crash house. Welcome to the crash house. How can I help you, stranger? I'm looking for some water. Then you should try the scum pit. I heard you can get a lot of water in your booze there. Ho oh, ho, you. What, who's this? A pouty, shapely woman. Hello. Hey, darling, how you doing? Okay, bye. Bernard isn't extremely smart. What's going on here? See a young man with a tattoo and a bad attitude. See a gang member? Who are you and what do you want? I'm Bernard Oge. I'm new to this town. Apparently so, since everyone knows that this is the territory of the Skulls. You'd better beat it before someone decides to hurt you. The Skulls? Who are they? That's us. We're the meanest gang in town. Actually, we're the only gang. But nobody messes with us. So you pretty much have the run of the town, eh? You bet. Nobody messes with us. Well, except for Killian, but he's cool and all. He's like the sheriff man. We do whatever we want. Who all is in this gang? Well, there's Victor and Shark who hangs out at the scum pit. Vinny too, and a couple other guys who stop by from time to time. So what is it that you guys do? We just hang out and sometimes we play games at Gizmos or just have some fun over at the scum pit. Sometimes we do odd jobs for Gizmo or for some traveler. Victor likes stalking people too. Come to think of it, you might want to stay away from him. You work for Gizmo? What can you tell me about him? He's this huge fat guy who runs the casino. He wants to run Junktown, but Killian keeps him in line. He pays pretty well, though. Occasionally, he hires Vinny or Victor to deal with people for him if they've been a problem. Like one stranger who showed up here a few weeks ago. Why do you hang out with these guys? We're like a family. We take care of each other. Well, except for Shark, who's always breaking things, and Victor, who looks at people funny, but Vinny's cool. And we do stuff together. You know, like we're friends and stuff. Okay. Get out of here. New blood. You're not a very happy person, are you? Why do you say that? I'm quite happy. I'm very happy because there are lots of things that bleed. Huh. Bye. No, actually, I think I'll keep you around for a while. Oh. Is your gang gonna help? Maybe? We might be in some trouble here. Victor was hit for 11. Well, that's a good start. We did it. End combat. Okay, we pissed them all off. That's good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, boy. 
It's killing time. Oh boy. Fresh meat. It was a trap. Get up. Get up, Bernard. Oh, I don't think Bernard's gonna get up. Bernard did not get up. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. Make well, we know not to go there next time.